There's a guy standing there. <laughs> he says, I'm here to tune your piano. She says, I didn't call me, buddy. I know, your neighbors did. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, everybody. Jeff Williams here and... Slim. That's right. With AskJeffWilliams.com. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I know. What are we doing today? Well, today, me and Slim got something real special today, huh, Slim? That's right. We got all kinds of stuff we got to go over. And I mean a lot. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all in one day, huh, Slim? Well, we better try. That's right. So anyway, before I get started, I just want to offer my condolences to Gary Best. He lost a good friend of his over the weekend on the 25th. His, uh, his dog died, Kaz. And I just wanted to say I'm real sorry. And me and Slim offer our condolences. Ain't that right, Slim? That's right. Wow, okay. So, all right, well. Let's get on with this because I got a lot to do. I got a full boat to do, huh? Ain't that right, Slim? Well, get going, Chuck. <laughs> You're so funny. What is that right there? <laughs> All right, so we're going to head over here. I'm going to walk you through what we're doing today, okay? How about you, Slim? What are you going to do? I'm going to sit here and watch you. Ah, that's what he always does. All right, Slim, let's get started with this, okay? Hey, remember the announcement? <laughs> the announcement? Oh, that's right, a special announcement. What? what? I can't remember, Slim. What was that announcement? The big giveaway. Oh, that's right. The big wow. giveaway. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had a giveaway in a while, huh, Slim? Uh, <laughs> <he's in there. laughs> get me. All right, so what's the big announcement? Like you said, we're going to have a big giveaway. What? <laughs> what? All right, so the big announcement is that we're going to have a giveaway. It's going to be on the 6th of February, okay? I, I think that's a good time to have a giveaway. How about you, Slim? Sounds good to me. All right, so what are we going to give away? Well, I figured to have just one giveaway, we'll have what, three? Three, yeah, let's go. Ah, all right, three. All right, so what are they going to be? Well, for third place, we're going to give away the book, because everybody likes that book, Slim. So it's signed by me and Slim, I think you'll like that. And for second place, we're going to give away a day's worth of work. Doesn't that sound good, Slim? Sounds good to me. Days worth of work. There's a lot of gold in a day's worth of work. I That's like that. Right. Man, I wish somebody give me a day's worth of work. <laughs> hey, give me a knuckle sandwich, huh, Slim? <laughs> All right, so what's what's going to be first place, Slim? Beats me. It's up to you. <laughs> I figured, you know what would be cool? Is whatever gold we find today, when we do our roast and our smelt, that'll be first place. Sorry, That's good. All right. Because I don't know how much gold's in there. I know there's some good gold in there, but I don't know how much. I'm kind of curious. So whatever we get at the end of the day, that's going to go to first place winner. How's that sound, Slim? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that right there? <laughs> He's always trying to get me. <laughs> All right, now before I get started, I got a whole list of patrons I got to read off that just signed up. All right, so here we go. The first one is John Cracked, Paul Illu. <laughs> I don't know. George Knapp from I-Team 3? Now the story still reverberates today. The I-Team's George Knapp played a part in what became an international sensation. Now that's David Knapp, you silly boy. Yeah. <laughs> Michael W. Kinley? Mother chump, you knew it this. <laughs> and then Rex Havoc. I wonder if he's got a couple brothers named Max and Reek. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Trousdale? Is that like Mr. Drysdale? Well, that's mighty neighborly of you to take so much interest, but uh, don't think nothing of it. We bankers like to take as much interest as we can. <laughs> well, you remember Mr. Drysdale? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew you did. Wayne Freemeyer? Is that like Freebird? No, Freemeyer, right? Right, Slim? Get it right. I know. Warren Wecklack? Who? Who? Warren Wecklack. You know. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. And Walter Maltzby. Woo wee, that's a mouthful. So me and Slim wanna give you a, a big cowboy yeehaw and thank you for helping me and him keep the dream alive. You ready, Slim? I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo -wee. I tell you what, I just want to say thank you to all my patrons for helping me and Slim keep the dream alive. Ain't that right, Slim? That's right. Couldn't do it without you. Not one bit. Oh, okay. So anyway, let me get started on this because I got a whole bunch of work to do. And he ain't going to do nothing because he don't ever help me. That's so right. He just sits back. He's always claiming he's retired, aren't you? Who's the dummy here? 
<laughs> so anyway, we're gonna get started at Slim, huh? So what am I gonna say? <laughs> nah, he never does that. Thing. So come on, let's, let's go. go. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take some of this beautiful nah looking ore. I got sulfide right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah! And I'm gonna crush it down, and I'm gonna get the free mill gold out of it first. Then I'm gonna capture all the sulfides. And then I'm going to roast those sulfides, and then I'm going to smelt those sulfides. And I'm going to get a, a pour out of it. Technically, you should have a jaw crusher first. That'll break your rock down so you can get it in here. And then from here, we got the K&M crusher to crush it down into a fine powder. Because that's what you're going to need. And then from there, we're going to take it out of the bucket, and we're going to roll it over here to the gold cube. Free mill gold and the sulfides will be trapped in here. Then I'll pan out the free mill gold and get the sulfides. Then I'll bring the sulfides over here to this thing. This is called a Miller table right here. Now I know you guys seen Miller tables before, but I like this one. This is a black scorpion and it's from Mother Load Prospecting Supplies up in Canada. And I like it because it's got a different design than I've seen on other Miller tables. And it's got this little catch riffle down at the very end, just in case you might not have it set up properly. It's kind of like insurance on the end of your table. After we get all the sulfides off of this, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna roast and then we're gonna smelt. This is a, a KK8 kiln and we got this one from GPK. What makes this one interesting is, is the burner here. This is a interesting design. It uses a Venturi effect and it's really, really effective and efficient and real quiet too. It doesn't make a roar or nothing and you barely need any type of propane to make this thing work and it gets up to 2000 degrees like that. And I like that. And you're going to need that if you're going to be doing any smelting. And the neat thing about this one is it's got a pyrometer on it. See that on the back? That's right. That way you know what the temperature is on the inside. Now, I'm going to leave a link to all the manufacturers of this equipment down below. And that way, if you want one of your own, you can. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on. Let's go. <laughs> I like feeding them dry because it's less work. <laughs> I got my gold pan down here to catch uh, my tailings. And I'll pan that to see if anything is uh, coming out of my tails. Now remember, when you fire up these gold cubes, you got to make sure you run a brush over every tray when it's wet. You don't want any air bubbles in there because gold won't stick if there's a pocket of air there. I got the water shut off. Right there where my fingers, there's one there. Get in there real close, you can see it. There's one there, and there's a little tiny one right next to it. See that? Woo <laughs> yeah! All right, let's pop this thing off and take a look inside. I'm curious now. Remember, most of your gold's gonna be in the, the, the number one tray. See, oh yeah, look at that. Come here, get in there real close. Really tiny piece right there. You see that where my finger is? Get on in there. There's one there, there's one there, and there's a little tiny one there. And there's a little tiny speck right there. Get on in there. Take a look at that. Ooh, look how tiny that one is. That's super tiny. That's like fly poop. Super fly poop. Super fly. Ooh, man, I'm excited. It's all around the top. I'm going to go ahead and pan this out real quick. And then I'll get rid of the uh, free meal gold. And then, of course, I'll keep the sulfide. So, because that's what this is all about, huh? <laughs> All right, now because you're working with sulfides, you're gonna do all your trays. And yeah, you're gonna get wet. You gotta be careful with sulfides. As far down as I wanna go. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, I got some gold. Look at all that fine gold in there. Holy cow. Got some chunky gold in there too from the mill. And see all the sulfides in there? See that? That's all sulfide. And then I got little tiny specks of gold there. I got some larger chunks there. And I got gold all the way down here. Really fine gold too. See that? Little tiny, tiny pieces. Look at that. All up in there. 
All right, so I'm gonna snuff for those out and I'm gonna keep these sulfides and I'm gonna put the sulfides in this guy right here. Now I got most of my free mill gold out. Now I got just sulfides. And what I've been doing is, is every time I run a batch, I put them in here, just like that. And then we're gonna run this through a miller table. Now, with these miller tables, what you wanna do is you wanna classify down to about minus 20 mesh. And all that means is anything that will fall through a 20 mesh screen is what you wanna put on here. You don't want anything too chunky. What you're gonna do is you're gonna feed it wet. That's really important. Don't feed it dry. And you're gonna feed it with a little spoon. Now it comes with two brushes where you can gently move the material around like this. And as you'll see, you get in there close, you'll see where the sulfides are hanging together here at the top. See that? And look, I got a little piece of gold right there too. See it? There's a piece of gold there. Piece of gold there. Most of those are sulfides. See all that sulfide in there? And then what you do is you take your brush and you're gonna brush it up into this little groove right here. See there, there's a groove here and there's a groove there. Now I'm gonna show you another trick. All right, now see my sulfides right there? There's a line of sulfide there and a little bit of sulfide right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your snuffer bottle, see that? You're gonna have a 45 degree cut on that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna suck all this stuff up, see that? Blow water out, suck it up. Now the same thing's gonna happen up in these two little dwells. You're gonna go up there, blow your water out, then you're gonna go over there and you're gonna suck them clean, see that? Blow the water out, make sure you're not blowing away any gold or sulfides. Suck them clean, see how that works? You're using your snuffer bottle to do all the work. How do I know what angle I should put this thing at? And how fast should my water flow be? <laughs> well, you know what, son of Jim? You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Well, the rule of thumb is that from the end of the table to here should be tilted by about one inch. I found out the hard way that depending on what you put in there is you're gonna have to work with the angle. And you can see how these little wing nuts here, you can adjust them and it'll raise or drop this Miller table. And then you got a little valve here, it's a little ball valve and you can increase or decrease water flow. That's really important. If y'all was working with gold, of course I'd probably increase the water flow because gold's a lot heavier. But in this case, I'm working with sulfides and sulfides are not that heavy. So I gotta be real careful. Ooh, I love this thing. Hey, Slim! <laughs> Ooh, he hates water. <laughs> Slim, how about some water, huh? Hey, <laughs> Woo! <Jump. laughs> okay, now one more thing I gotta mention about the black scorpion is that when you're running it, I highly recommend you put some jet dry in your water just to break the surface tension. And that way, super, super fine gold will drop out and it'll stay there. It won't try to float along the top because I've seen some super fine gold floating on the top before. And yeah, gold does float. Woo, look at that. I got all my sulfides in there, yeah. Now I'm gonna go over this KK8 and explain a few things about it. And of course, the whole process of smelting because uh, there's a lot of information I think you should know. Now there's all different ways that you can roast these sulfides. And remember what you're trying to do is you're trying to oxidize them, okay? When you're smelting, remember when you're using fluxes, you're either gonna oxidize or reduce. And I found in the past that if I use clay crucibles, that's best to oxidize in. And then my graphite crucibles, that's best to reduce in. I've seen some guys, they'll take a clay crucible and they'll put a screen about a third of the way up in there and then they'll put the sulfides in there and then they'll dry the temperature up to about a thousand degrees and let it sit in there for about an hour. Now a lot of other guys what they'll do is they'll put oxidizers in there to help speed up the process because you're trying to oxidize it remember. Some guys will put borax and sodium nitrate in there a three to one ratio. That's one way to do it. Another way is to put assay sand in there which is silica and that'll increase the amount of oxygen you have in there. Now there's a company out there called Action Mining Company. I'll leave a link down below and they sell a flux, a special flux, and it's designed 
to eliminate the roasting process. You just dump it in, put it in your crucible, put a couple iron nails in there, and remember the nails are going to attract the sulfur away. Well, I ain't gonna do all that. All I'm gonna do is like the old timers used to do. Put it right in here in my KK8, and I'm gonna drive it up to about a thousand degrees, and then I'm just gonna let it roast that way. I put a little bone ash in there on top of my pedestal, and what it does is it minimizes if I have a spill, and it, and it keeps the uh, crucible from sticking to the pedestal. Now there's a special way that you fire these guys up, okay? So you're barely gonna crank this open. Turn the gas on a little bit. Hear how it's churning? It's not supposed to do that. You're gonna throttle up and down until the combustion is here, not here. There. Now I'm gonna idle back on that because you don't need a lot to get it up to a thousand degrees. I'm gonna let that warm up just a little bit. Look at that. See how black that is? And then we're going to put it in a crucible, put some flux in there, and then we're going to reduce it. Okay? So we've, we've oxidized it. Now we're going to reduce it. All right. So here's our sulfides. Pour them in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this flux, which is Hank Chapman flux. And I'm going to put a two to one ratio in there by volume, not by weight. And then I'm going to add a thinner in there too, just for fun. And maybe some sodium carbonate too. <laughs> And a pinch to grow an inch. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, maybe a little more just for fun. <laughs> Can you tell I had my coffee this morning? <laughs> all right, so you're gonna shake that up really good. You want all of your materials surrounded by flux. Then you pour it in your crucible. I'm gonna go ahead and warm this guy up before I put him in there, okay? It usually takes about five minutes to warm up. These things warm up really fast, can you believe it? And then, this is supposed to sit in there for about an hour, okay? And then when it's done, we'll pull it out, and then we'll come over here and we'll put it in a conical mold. Now, I recommend these because all the gold is gonna go to the very tip and then all the slag will flow over and into this cast iron pot right here. All right, I think she's warmed up. You want to center it as much as you can. And then we'll let that cook for about an hour. I need help. I'm in terrible trouble and I need help. Don't you remember when you were little? How you and Bill Harper used to bring a wire between the two houses so you could telegraph to each other? Bill remember the Morse code? Ta-da! Ooh, look at that! Isn't that pretty? <laughs> right there! Mm -mm -mm, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty! I can't wait to break him up and see how big he is! And remember, that's gonna go to first place. I know the moment of truth! You want me to break that thing open, don't you? I do too, I wanna see how big it is. Oh, so you know what I'm gonna say, Mr. Gold. Ooh, ah, so come on, let's go. There it is right there, look at that, isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's nice looking gold chunk. <laughs> slim, slim, look at this gold. Wow. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That's pretty. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not that bad. feels like, I don't know, a couple grams at least. 
Woo wee! One lucky winner's gonna get that too. Try to clean that flux off of it. Ooh man! Oh, what a day, huh? Man, I was exhausted. Yeah. And those deal. fumes are killing me. They're killing me. So, <laughs> well, well, I hope you guys had a good time today. Did you have a good time today, Slim? I had a good time, John. Yeah, all right, I'm getting hungry, too. You want to go out and get a steak dinner or something? What? <laughs> yeah, he loves steak. Woo-wee, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode on roasting pyrite and then smelting it down. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please rate, share, and... Subscribe! That's right! Subscribe, funny man! And of course, leave me and Slim a comment. And I've added Jack too. Because we'd like to know what you think about all this craziness out of here. <laughs> Ooh, so until next time, this is Jeff Williams and... Slim! That's right! From AskJeffWilliams.com Saying, you got yourself some gold and you want yourself some more? You better look into some pyrite and roast you up some ore. Take care, everybody! Bye! What is it? Don't you do